So I had a field diary and I had a reflective diary. So um, yeah, so I reflected back in my reflective diary with my own kind of personal experiences and just little notes. And then um, group discussions, I was in a group of four. So we would sit down, hope well, we had time basically every evening and just kind of reflect back. Because there were so many um, people to interview and things to see, and um, we didn't all get a chance to speak to the same people. So it was useful that we all kind of could share our knowledge and our experiences and reflect together. Did you find that that was really helpful to be able to have peers with you? Yeah, really, yeah, really, really um, helpful. Because a lot of the time we were all off doing our own things and it was hard to kind of all speak to the same people. And, and it was kind of off-putting for the tour operators that we were all bombarding them with questions. So it was good that we could individually just do our own thing and then come back and talk about it in the evening and reflect back. I always carried around a notepad, um, was always writing things down whenever I could, um, but mainly was uh, talking things through with myself and talking things through with uh, the partners that were on the trip. Um, I found that that was especially useful because it helped get the issues out, out of just of your head and um, get some feedback on them and uh, kind of opens your understanding of things. I find like my points of tension during the trip um, and I go back and I kind of I think about uh, like what what was the context of that situation like whether I was having difficulty reading an article or whether I had like a really difficult conversation with somebody I go back and I try and find what the tension was around that and then I kind of think about how I dealt with it and how I could deal with it better but then also how that reflects more broadly on my personality and like obviously I found found it stressful for a reason um, and I find that those, like the more difficult situations, are the ones that are more telling to me. They're the ones that I learn the most from. So when I'm far away from the scary situation, and <laughs> come home and think about it. And yeah, we basically got the unit outline, and that had a set of questions every week that we would answer, which gave us an idea of um, what direction we needed to head in to reflect. So we would submit um, an online reflective journal every fortnight. Um, so I would write up a sequence and I usually would jot notes during my work time so I wouldn't forget um, important events that had occurred and I would just try and relate that experience to my master's degree and I found it was um, it, the idea was to translate your practical work into a written form and then it would make you realize what you'd achieved in that fortnight. What I used was the uh, online um, reflective journals but, um, that was set by the um, university and apart from that uh, what I used for this um, reflective activity was um, some notes that they have from work, some um, from memories, uh, the experiences that I had, memories. Um, I, I would sit down at the weekend to rethink what I've done and then sort of put it on, um, on the reflective journals, the online reflective journals. Also uh, I was able to apply some of the uni uh, knowledge into the, the reflection as well.